Hi, it's Drew at Finale. In this quick video tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate the simplicity of editing information directly in the effects window and script window. Let's jump right in. All right, so here I have the effects window in the upper right hand corner. I have six effects listed and I have various columns displayed. This is actually the default layout uh, that shows various information about the effects. The best analogy for this workspace here is an Excel spreadsheet, a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. And uh, the reason is because, like an Excel spreadsheet, you can edit information by copying and pasting or typing directly into these individual cells. So let's, let's do a quick example. Let's say I'd like to change the description for this item. Let's say this red meteor comet has a tail. So I want to add the words with tail to the end. So I can just double click here, put a space in, and put with tail. So just like that, I've adjusted the description. I could do the same thing for other uh, fields as well. So for example, if this pre-fire is actually incorrect, let's say we want it to be 0.2 seconds, just type 0.2 and hit enter. So just like that, it's very easy to uh, change uh, information directly in the effect window. And that can be done for any of the columns, uh, even columns that are not visible right now. They can be unhidden using the blue gear menu if there's other information that you need to to edit in the process of designing a display. So let's look at that same functionality down here in the script window. Let's uh, add some items to the show. So I'm gonna select all the firing positions and then I'll add a, a comment here. So that'll add one to each position. So now you can see I've got um, the comments now listed in the firing script. They're also on the timeline. Now let's say that instead of having the comments shoot straight up, I'd like to have them all shoot to the left. So one common way to do this would be to select them and then to, to drag the donut here at the top of the trajectory over to the left, we'll say negative 20 degrees, that's 20 degrees to the left. Now you can do that and you'll see the tilt listed here in the uh, script window, but just as an example of how you can manually edit and manually type into the script window, I'm gonna do it by entering uh, information directly into the field here. So let's take the first comment, you see the tilt is now negative 20, Let's say instead of it being negative 20, which is to the left, I'd want it to be 30 degrees to the right. So I can just type 30 and hit enter. And you'll see how uh, that comment over here on position one has changed direct, uh, trajectories to be firing to the right. Now we can do that. Let's say uh, we use an example where instead of typing it, we'd like to copy and paste to update all of those together. So I can do, uh, I can right click, I can do copy. I can also do control C on my keyboard to copy. And then I can highlight a series of cells. Let's say I'd like to change all of them. I can right click and I can do paste, or I can do control V on my keyboard. And you can see now how all of the comments are firing to the right. So that's a really handy way to use the fields and type directly and change something. There's usually more than one way to do the same thing. But that's, you know, since this video is about editing the table, that's the demonstration there to show that. Um, another cool feature that you can do, which is similar to Microsoft Excel, is dragging a value down. So let's say that we were addressing this show, and for whatever reason we need to do some manual addressing on the pins. We could put a value in here like 1, and we can grab this small black square in the lower right-hand corner, and we can drag this down. And what we'll get is our sequential pin numbers as we go down here. In this particular case, maybe that isn't what we want given we're spread across multiple firing positions, but it's just a demonstration of the power of the grid and the functionality that you have. So that's just a quick demo of how you edit data directly in the grids here in the effect window and script window. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to check out all the other great videos on our YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe.